To get started with SiteLink's in-house payment capabilities, the first thing you need to do is go to myhub.sitelink.com in your browser. Type in myhub.sitelink.com. Once you click enter on the right hand side, you're going to log into the corporate control center side. You must have access to the SiteLink corporate control center in order to be able to log in. Click login. Once logged in, you're going to click on payments from the menu on the left, then click on bank information. In the column labeled status, you will see active if your location is already ready to take payments. If you have partially completed this process and come back at a later time, you will see continue. If you are brand new to this process, you will see get started. Click the get started button. It gives you verbiage that says you are setting up bank information for your respective site with your address for future payments. You will need either your most recent tax return or your most recent SS-4 form to set up this facility. Please note we will only use this information you provide to set up your bank account for depositing funds and deducting monthly fees. The information provided on the next several screens will not be used for any other purpose than completing your facility's bank onboarding. We've outlined the fees associated with your payment capabilities below. If you have any questions or need help, please contact the SiteLink team at 833-345-0225 or email paymentsupgrades at sitelink.com. Click Next. It is important to note that if you leave the application and return later, the status will show as continue instead of get started and your information will be saved from where you leave off. One question you may have is why do you need my personal information? Federal law requires all financial institutions to obtain, verify, and record information that identifies each individual or business who opens an account in order to help the government fight the funding of terrorism and money laundering activities. In order to comply, we will ask for your identifiable information, including your full name, address, date of birth, and other business information. We may also ask to see your identification card, driver's license, and or other identifying documents. In step one, you will need to put in all of the relevant information for each step along the way. We have four steps listed at the top. One, business info, two, owner info, three, bank info, four, submit. Once all the relevant information has been entered, click next. And now we are in step two. Add information for all owners with 25% or more ownership by clicking the add secondary owner button. This button will be visible if you have selected anything other than sole proprietor as the business type in step one. Personal information must be provided for sole proprietors or each individual, if any, who directly or indirectly owns 25% or more of the ownership interest of the legal entity listed on the application. A legal entity includes a corporation, limited liability company, or other entity that is formed by filing of a public document with a secretary of state or similar office, a general partnership, and any similar business entity formed in the United States. Once all the information has been entered, click next to move to step three. Once all the relevant information has been entered, click next. And we are now on step four. Type in your first and last name. Once in step four, Click the links to read the terms and conditions. Once you've read through the terms, click the checkbox to indicate that you are authorized to accept the terms and conditions. Enter your name and click the box and click submit. A pop-up will come up and say, submit confirmation. You are about to submit your merchant information for review. Click submit. It will say save complete in the bottom right hand corner and you are now in pending status. Once your submission has been approved, you will receive an email confirmation from our team. Then go back to the bank information page in SiteLink My Hub and click activate to complete the setup and set storable payments as your payment processor. Once you have been activated on each open instance of SiteLink Web Edition, click on tools and refresh data to finish the process. Are you sure you want to refresh your local cash database? Yes. Transaction is successful and now you are ready to take payments.